If you're on a journey to lose weight, it's natural to look for any possible aid to make the process easier and faster. The supplement market is flooded with products promising quick results, but not all of them live up to their claims. In fact, some might even hinder your progress or harm your health. Here, we'll explore eight of the worst supplements for weight loss, backed by scientific studies to help you make informed decisions. But before we continue, if you appreciate all the information and the research that goes into making a video like this, it does help out tremendously if you hit the like button and hit subscribe. Thank you, and let's begin. The first supplement to be wary of is Garcinia Cambogia. This tropical fruit extract became popular after being touted on a famous TV show for its supposed fat-burning properties. The primary active ingredient in Garcinia Cambogia is hydroxycitric acid, or HCA, which is claimed to block an enzyme your body uses to make fat and to suppress appetite. Despite these claims, scientific evidence doesn't support its effectiveness. A 2011 meta-analysis published in the Journal of Obesity examined 12 randomized control trials of Garcinia Cambogia and found that it only produced a marginal weight loss of about 2 pounds more than the placebo group. Given the minimal benefit, it's hard to justify its popularity or expense. Green coffee bean extract gained attention for its high content of chlorogenic acids, which are believed to have antioxidant effects and influence glucose and fat metabolism. While initial studies showed promising results, they were small and poorly designed. A systematic review and meta-analysis in 2011 found that green coffee bean extract could lead to weight loss, but highlighted significant methodological issues in the studies, calling the results into question. More rigorous research published in Gastroenterology Research and Practice in 2010 concluded that the evidence was insufficient to warrant a recommendation for weight loss. Raspberry ketones are another supplement marketed aggressively for weight loss. They are natural compounds found in red raspberries and are structurally similar to synephrine and capsaicin, which are known to have a fat-burning effect. However, most studies on raspberry ketones have been conducted in test tubes or on animals, not humans. A review in the Journal of the International Society of Sports Nutrition in 2013 pointed out that while raspberry ketones increased fat breakdown in rodents, there's a lack of evidence to suggest the same effect occurs in humans. Without robust human trials, it's difficult to support their use for weight loss. Conjugated linoleic acid, or CLA, is a type of fat found in meat and dairy that has been promoted for its fat-burning effects. Some studies indicate it can help with weight loss and body fat reduction, but the results are inconsistent. A comprehensive review in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2007 concluded that CLA has a very modest effect on fat loss, about 0.1 kg per week over 6 months, and noted potential side effects like insulin resistance and fatty liver. Given these risks and the modest benefits, CLA might not be worth the trouble. Another popular supplement, forskolin, is derived from the root of a plant in the mint family and has been traditionally used to treat various health conditions. It's believed to raise levels of a compound inside cells called cyclic AMP, which may stimulate fat burning. Despite the hype, evidence supporting its effectiveness for weight loss is weak. A small study published in Obesity Research in 2005 suggested that forskolin might help prevent weight gain, but it did not lead to significant weight loss. The study's authors also noted the need for more research to validate these findings. Apple cider vinegar, or ACV, has been hailed as a cure-all for many ailments, including weight loss. The idea is that the acetic acid in ACV can boost metabolism, reduce fat storage, and suppress appetite. Some small studies suggest that ACV can help with weight loss. For instance, a study published in Bioscience, Biotechnology, and Biochemistry in 2009 found that participants who consumed vinegar daily lost more weight than those who took a placebo. However, the weight loss was modest and could be attributed to other factors like diet changes. Additionally, consuming large amounts of ACV can lead to digestive issues and tooth enamel erosion. Moving on, we encounter Bitter Orange, a supplement made from the peel of the citrus fruit and often marketed as a safe alternative to ephedra, a banned weight loss supplement. 
Bitter orange contains synephrine, which is similar to the active compound in ephedra and can increase calorie burning and fat breakdown. Despite these properties, synephrine can have serious side effects. A study in the International Journal of Medical Sciences in 2012 highlighted potential risks like increased heart rate and blood pressure, which could lead to cardiovascular issues. Given these health risks, bitter orange might not be a safe choice for weight loss. Now, let's discuss one of the most controversial supplements, HydroxyCut. This product contains a blend of several ingredients, including caffeine, which is known to boost metabolism and increase fat burning. However, HydroxyCut has been linked to severe health problems. In 2009, the FDA issued a warning after receiving reports of jaundice, elevated liver enzymes, liver damage, and even a liver transplant in people using HydroxyCut products. While the company has since changed its formulation, the lingering concerns about safety should give anyone pause before considering this supplement for weight loss. Now, for the worst of them all, weight loss supplements containing ephedra. Ephedra, also known as Ma Huang, was once a popular ingredient in dietary supplements for weight loss and athletic performance. It works by stimulating the nervous system and increasing thermogenesis, leading to weight loss. However, its use has been linked to severe side effects, including heart attack, stroke, seizure, and death. Due to these significant risks, the FDA banned ephedra-containing supplements in 2004. Despite the ban, some products still illegally contain ephedra or related compounds. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine in 2000 found a strong association between ephedra use and serious cardiovascular events. This high-risk profile makes ephedra and its derivatives the worst possible choice for weight loss supplements. When navigating the weight loss supplement market, it's easy to get overwhelmed by the numerous options promising rapid results. Many supplements are marketed with bold claims and enticing endorsements, making them seem like a quick solution to shedding pounds. Yet, the reality often falls short of these promises. Misleading advertisements and unverified testimonials can create false hope, leading many to spend money on products that are not only ineffective, but potentially harmful. It's essential to look beyond the marketing hype and examine the scientific evidence, or lack thereof, supporting these products. For instance, some supplements might have initial studies showing minimal benefits, but further research often reveals methodological flaws or inconsistent results. Additionally, the lack of regulation in the supplement industry means that the quality and safety of these products can vary significantly. Adverse effects ranging from mild digestive issues to severe cardiovascular problems have been reported with various weight loss supplements. Recognizing the importance of evidence-based information can help individuals make safer choices and avoid the pitfalls of the supplement market. Prioritizing health and well-being over quick fixes is vital in achieving long-term success in weight management. This mindset shift is fundamental as you embark on your weight loss journey. It's crucial to approach weight loss with a combination of healthy diet, regular exercise, and realistic goals. Supplements that promise quick fixes can be tempting, but the evidence often doesn't back up their claims. Worse, some can pose serious health risks. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any new supplement regimen. The path to sustainable weight loss is not found in a pill bottle, but in making consistent, healthy lifestyle changes.